Shalom, giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the Church of Great Millstone that told me this truth. Shalom to the sincere and hopeful elect that's out there prophesying in the true naming and the true doctrine about the times we're in the attitude for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And I was inspired. Uh, I seen a video of this young Jake. And, and, and I'm going to show you it. But he basically was a representative of the mentality of society now. You know about Neuralink or Elon Musk and, you know, they're, they're, I'm going to try to word things, you know, in a certain way. But, um, you know, with their technology that they want to insert in people's bodies, in their flesh, different tech companies. This is why society is going digital as a whole in many, many other countries as well. Doing away with paper, uh, fiat currency. You got everything cashless, contactless. And soon as it's there, they're trying to have you become one, merging with this tech which the scriptures warned us about. And um, this place is on its last thread. We see the prophecies. You know, no other religion or, or whatever, you, you know, Christianity. Catholics, Muslim, Jehovah's Wickedness, none of them are prophesying, meaning to say before it happens. None of them are following a, a sound doctrine, you know. They may read one scripture and do everything else that goes contrary, right. None of them are applying the scriptures to the best of their ability. See, the Lord, Yahweh, who the world enemy called God, and Yahweh Shai's only begotten son, right, has uh is uh Yahweh Shah is coming back for an elect, a small remnant, 144,000 written in the scriptures. In the book of Revelation, right, um, where it states that they were not defiled, you know, they were they were uh, referred to as virgins in the scriptures, meaning we were we are the elect is gonna be is not gonna be defiled by this. Beast system. Let's get that real quick. This is the book of Revelation chapter 14. Verse 4. That's heavy. 144. But it says. These are they which were not defiled. With women. Referring to. As the philosophies of this world. Right. The traditions of this world. The, the corruption of this world. You know. The wickedness that, that's being promoted in this, in this society. And especially um, bowing, uh, uh, bowing or, or taking that, that uh, worshiping that idol in a form of technology. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed. From among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb, which was Yahweh Shai, right? Who the world called Jesus Christ in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer. So we're not going to be defiled by the corruption, you know, of uh, taking that, that karagma, pursuing to, when you read about. The M-A-R-K in the book of Revelation chapter 13 and 16 where it states he calls of all both small and great rich and poor to receive a what? In the Hebrews karagma meaning something inserted in your flesh. Because that's what it's all coming down to. That hour of temptation. Matter of fact let's get um. Let's get the book of Revelation chapter uh, 11 and verse 12. And then I'm going to play the video. It says, And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies 
beheld them. So that's when Yahweh comes back, right? With the holy angels, the chariots, which is also referred to as clouds in the scriptures. And the same hour, right? And the same hour was there a great earthquake, which is going to be those missiles, those thermonuclear missiles that's going to be shot from one end of the earth to another and make this place, Babylon the Great, via America, as a lake of fire, as the scriptures speak about, the second death. And two-thirds is going to get caught up into this torture, martial law, FEMA camps, etc., and the same hour, so in the same hour, there was deliverance, and in the same hour is going to be major destruction. There's that great earthquake is what that's referring to. And the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, which seven just represents completion. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to Yahweh. By Shem of heaven. So, yeah, because the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So, where shall the sinners and the ungodly go? Roughly paraphrasing. So, let's play this video real quick. Here it is. And this just shows you the mentality of these young dumb niggas, man. You jakes, you know, you, you, you the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the biblical Israelites. These, these, these people, they feel like, oh, well, we owe it, you know, with technology, your phones, your watches, your computer, your social security. Yeah, we're, we're, we're tracked in some form or fashion. Right, because we're in uh, captivity. It's it's systematically designed that way, you know. You know, you go to interview, you they they could track your work history, but it's coming down to the point where it's going to be life or death. Right, and it's not about just oh we can see what they're doing. No, it's about full control. Scriptures say uh, Esau, these elites. You know, because this is all sorcery and witchcraft, man. But these elites that's ruling, they want full control. So if you do anything wrong or, or, or disobedient, they could shut it off. You know? And you could possibly be put to death immediately. I mean, they got a show called... They got... They got you go on Netflix, you know, I'm sure a lot of you heard of Black Mirror... Where they show you about these different texts. But the scriptures say how they want to be like the Most High. You see, and it's about who you're going to have faith unto. These people don't understand the book of Revelation 13 16, the book of Revelation 14 and 9. It's, it's so many more. The book of Revelation 15, I believe in two. If I'm not mistaken, the book of Revelation 16. You know, it's repetitive, you know, and you want to have that spiritual mark. You know, when Egypt was destroyed, you know, we was commanded to put blood upon our doorpost, right, to represent exemption, to be exempted from judgment. And the angels knew. Spiritually, all right, we're not going to mess with them. The Lord chose them. And the blood represents the blood of Yahweh Shai, the lamb, because he died for the elect. He didn't die for the whole world. He didn't get persecuted 
and go through all this torturous acts for niggas like this. All right? And that try to use the word for, for, for self-glorification in this world. So a lot of people are going to realize who the real prophets are. And, hey, they 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 going to learn the hard way, you know? Because it's all psychological and people are being psychologically programmed. You got something called social engineering. And as it becomes more repetitive, people tend to accept it more. You know? And we at the end, man. You know, John the Revelator seen these things happen. Matter of fact, let me get a let me get one more precept. Then I'm gonna close it. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 9. And what? Through the fear of the Lord is the is the beginning of wisdom. So when you have fear in the Lord, you want to do that which is pleasing in the sight, especially knowing the promises he's gonna bless those when he comes back. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is indignation, which is righteous judgment. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. There we go with the Lamb again. You know, he's referred to as the Lamb. The sheep, you know, but he's coming back as a Lion of Zion. And he will not meet thee as a man. Matter of fact, let me get one more precept. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is this word. Patience is part of suffering. Because a lot of people, the, the, the prophets always suffered for righteousness. You know, and this is the type of man right here you see on the screen that is going to try to save his life. As the scriptures say, if you try to save your life, surely uh, you will lose it, roughly paraphrasing. Because people are still caught up in the cares of this world. Their jobs, their little families, their little, you know, schools, you know, their, their, their mortgage, their little cars, their little girlfriends. People love this wickedness, this world, more than they love the Lord. The prophets know the end. We know once all hell breaks loose, you know, we know that the kingdom of heaven is going to be established on earth once these wicked kingdoms are finally Destroyed. It has to get worse before it gets better. But these people don't believe that. <laughs> and they're just playing out their lot. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try to try them that dwell upon upon the earth. So this is global. It's a global event. And to try them means what? To put in, as in trial, to test one's faith, you know? Matter of fact, I want you to hear it. This is uh, the word try, right? It says... Strong's G, 3985, Pirazzo, Pirazzo. To attempt, <laughs> right? It says, to try to test one's faith, virtue, character, by enticement to sin. Come on, man. So, the day of, ju the, the, the day of judgment is coming. Trial, when you put on trial in the court, right? Hey, 1444, call all y'all and, uh, Hey Amen. So with that, I hope this was edifying. Until next time, I'm going to say 
Shalom.